I'm Rachel Vermouth. And I'm Jo Ingleby, and we're from the Vegetarian Cookery School in Bath. And we're going to teach you to make delicious vegetarian food from our cookery school. I'm going to make some phyllo pastry scrunchies, which are very popular in our restaurant demuths. We're going to roast some butternut squash and some red pepper, which has just been cubed roughly, and a little drizzle of olive oil. Not too much olive oil, it will become greasy. And that's going to go into a hot oven about 200 degrees for about 30 minutes until the squash is just starting to caramelise and the pepper's nice and soft. The butternut squash is nicely roasted, just starting to caramelise around the edges and the peppers are cooked. So I'm going to transfer that into a bowl. And we're going to add some toasted pine nuts. So I've preheated just a dry frying pan, no oil in there at all. We'll pop in my pine nuts and keep them moving. You could do this in the oven, but they usually burn, so it's much safer to do it in a dry frying pan. And they only take a few minutes. You need to make sure that you've got something ready to put your pine nuts into as soon as they're cooked or they'll burn in the pan. And I'm just looking for a slight change in colour. I don't want them to be too dark. And pine nuts are full of oil, so they do burn very, very quickly. into that mixture I'm going to add some fresh thyme. I'm just going to roughly pull from the stalks, sprinkle in. About three sprigs of thyme is plenty. You could use um, basil, you could use parsley if you wanted to. And I'm also going to add some smoked cheddar which is just a really nice smoky taste to add to the dish. And mix the whole lot together with a good sprinkle of salt and some pepper. So the filling's all nicely mixed together and we need to assemble our scrunchies. And I'm using phyllo pastry which is really, really easy to use. Um, you buy it ready made. Um, the best type to make is from the chilled um, section of the supermarket rather than the frozen if you can. Um, I've got nine sheets of phyllo all lying on top of each other and I'm just going to cut through so that I've got rectangle shapes. And the shapes that you get will depend on the size of the phyllo to start with. Just make sure that they're cut through nicely. So take three sheets of phyllo at a time. Place one on the board in front of you and just brush with lightly melted butter. You can use oil if you prefer not to use dairy products. And you can miss the cheese out of the filling as well to make this a vegan dish because phyllo pastry is actually vegan. So I have one sheet parallel to me. I'm going to put the next one at a slight angle so that we start to get a star shape. So you need to pick up your star of phyllo and just lay it on your hand so that you can make a little nest and take a small amount of your filling and just put it right in the center. Roughly two tablespoons of filling. And then just use your fingers to gather in the edges of the phyllo and pinch around the edges as you go. So you start to get a little parcel forming. Okay. And just squeeze and all those bits of phyllo will stick together and you end up with a nice little scrunchy parcel. Now I'm going to put these into a fairy cake tin which just helps to hold the phyllo in place. And I'm going to carry on until I've made my nine separate phyllo parcels. I'm going to brush all of the pastry with a little bit of extra butter which will help it to brown. And I'll keep going making my scrunchies until I've used up all of the filling. Um, if you have a bit of leftover filling, it's a really nice thing to just pop on top of a pizza or a salad. 
and that goes into a warm oven about 160 degrees and they take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook. You need to be careful that the phyllo doesn't burn, these top little corners here might catch so just keep checking that they're not burning and they should feel nice and um, cooked and hard when you take them out of the oven.